All right, so for question number 10, it says a study published by a team of American and Canadian psychologists found um, that during ovulation, a woman can identify a man's sexual orientation simply by looking at his face. Um, to explore the subject, authors conducted several investigations, the first of which involved 40 undergraduate women who were asked to guess sexual orientation of 80 men based on photos of their faces. Um, half of the men were gay and the other half were straight, all held uh, similar expressions in the photos and were deemed to be equally attractive. The results of the study revealed the closer the woman was to her peak ovulation, the more accurate her assessment was. Now, um, I mean, this is a medical study. I know you guys are in high school and you'll probably think, oh, but like this is stuff that they actually do in the scientific community because they're curious about it. And so first of all, this is, this is a great question in the sense that it may not be very clear about the who and the what and the population of interest. So let's just start with the who. Yeah, so I'm gonna be a little more specific on this. It's the sample, so it's the 40 undergraduate women, okay? And then the what, what do you think the what is? Uh, I guess like guessing the orientation. Yeah, the accuracy of. Well, this one's a little more specific. It's, it's um, can the women Guess the orientation. As I was reading it, I thought to myself, well, if they interact with another person, it might be easier for them to make that prediction. But the fact that these are just photos orientation, is very interesting to me. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I think the claim is, is that if a woman is very close to ovulating or actually ovulating, that there's something innate that um, allows them to kind of identify, not necessarily a, 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 a gay man, but a heterosexual man. Like there's something innate in human nature um, that causes her to do that. Okay, I think that's the claim. Um, now, here's the bigger one. Um, what is the population of interest? You think it's just women? Hashtag women. Well, it's definitely very general, right? Very broad, very general. Um... So yeah, you're correct. It's all women. In other words, of these 40 women, basically what the study says, and we'll 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 reread it, but um, basically, the closer they were to their ovulation, the more accurate they were about these predictions. Okay. So would that play out to all women throughout the world? It seems like it would, right? Because there's not that much difference. Uh, but you don't know. So how could you determine that, though? Take another sample. Take more samples. And so this is what really happens in science a lot. Like, we'll take a sample. If there's something there, then they pursue it again. And then you'll have a bunch of universities doing this. And then you have a very large sample size, 4,000 women, 40,000 women. And then you get better um, information and more accurate details. But, okay, any questions on this one?